Hi there, today I'm gonna show you how to create this cute animation uh, between two icons and how to set this smooth transition. As you can see, for this process I set transparency for the second icon to see my goal for this transition. And at first I animated position for the whole layer and then position for the back shape. When it's done, animate sizes for circles to match the original picture. And of course we need a null object, uh, put it in the center of the shape and link our shapes to this object. Then animate rotation of the null. And next step is pretty simple, just animate position of each shapes to match the original joystick's picture. When the main action is done, it's time to experiment with timing and curves. You can put extra frames or vice versa delete something, it depends on you and your goals and what animation you want to get. As you can see, I changed interpolation for last keyframes and now my action looks smooth and it's really natural. Ok, now we are ready to add more details and for this shape I used animation of outer, radius and roundness. You can change it, play with it and you will get amazing results. And of course, uh, don't forget to change interpolation and curves uh, for this shape as well. And here I prepared one more trick for you. For this middle part of joystick I'm gonna use merge pass. Drop it in the bottom of the list but before stroke and fill and of course before triangle. And of course I need one more shape, it will be rectangle. And after that convert this shape to Bezier pass. I'm gonna animate this new pass, but here I have one more trick for you. To create correct animation of uh, this pass, I need to put it into a new group. And when it's done, uh, we can animate this pass, and as you can see, merge pass works perfectly. Oh, if you enjoy my content, you can hit the like and subscribe on my channel. And a bit more time for cleaning my animation and my pass animation and it will be great. Don't forget to work with curves uh, for this animation as well to match our main spacing and timing. And here is the last part of the tutorial. I'm gonna draw and animate next parts uh, of these graphics uh, using pen tool and of course my favorite trim path. Nothing very complex, just smooth and simple animation, that's it.
Well, it was my tips and tricks for you about morphing animation between icons. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and if so, you can drop a comment and let me know. And see you in the next video.